next section we're actually going to have a look at is what we call subqueries. Now, these are by far the most complex types of reports in Yellowfin. So if you can wrap your head around these, you're doing really well. And basically, other than freehand SQL reports, yeah, they're, they're the, by far the most complex, but also they can achieve quite, uh, quite good results and, and really advanced reports. So we're going to have a look at what subqueries are. So to start out with, basically subqueries are a way of creating multiple reports and merging them one way or another into one table. Uh, so you do it all through the one builder. You don't create separate reports like we did with drill through. Um, but yeah, it's basically a way of merging tables together. And there are five different types we're going to have a look at today. So the first type is actually what we call an append. Now what happens with an append is we take two separate tables worth of data and we merge them together so that we actually have additional columns. So an example of this might be to have a table that looks at our sales this year by uh, location. And then we might add an additional column that says sales last year. And the reason we need a subquery for this report is because we need to filter each column by a different year. So we needed one of the sales columns to be this year and one to be last year. And you can't do that in a standard report because they don't work together. So the next type of subquery we're going to have a look at is what we call a union. And basically what happens here is we merge the tables together so that we extend the columns. So we're actually adding extra rows onto the bottom. So we take two columns that contain the same kind of data and put them in the same column. The third type of subquery we'll have a look at is what we call a minus. And basically what happens here is we have two lists and we actually remove from the first list records we have in the second. So a good example of this might be customers we had last year and customers we had this year. And if we did a minus, what would happen is we would be left with a list of customers that we had last year, but we've removed the ones that have been this year as well. So we know which customers haven't returned. The next type is intersect, and this is very similar to minus, uh, and it's set up exactly the same way. It's just the merge that's different. So what happens here is we have two lists again, this year's customers and last year's customers. But what it does is it finds records that are in both lists and just shows you those. So what would happen in this scenario is you would be left with a list of customers that are uh, return customers. So ones that were there last year and have come back this year. And we would remove any customers that haven't come back and we would remove any customers that were purely just this year, so they were new. Now finally we have advanced subqueries and basically what these allow you to do is the previous types of query but from different databases or different views. Alright, so let's just dive straight in and have a look at how these work. So I'm going to create a report and we're going to start out with an append subquery. So to start with, basically what I want to do is have a look at our sales by region for each year. So this year and last year maybe. So what I'm going to do is drag in the common field between this year and last year and that's region. And I'm just going to disable drill down. Okay, so now this is my link if you will. So this is how we line up this year and last year. So what I'm going to do is click this plus button over here. Now if you don't have this you need to talk to your administrator because your role permissions may not let you do this at this point. Um, but what I'm going to do is add an append query. And basically what I need to say is okay in my master file, so that table we just created with the one column, 
we're going to select region and we're going to join this based on region. So you always need to match up the fields. And we're going to filter this by year. And we're going to call this current year. Okay. So now what you'll see here is my field is grayed out and I'm just going to drag in my sales amount and you'll see that that's blue. And that means that we're working in this current subquery, so current year. Now if I go back to my master query, you'll see that that's blue and that means we're working in that query. So this is how you alternate. So it's effectively showing you both of the tables that have been merged and we can move between them. So I'm going to add one more and we're going to repeat the process. And we're going to call this previous year. And we're going to drag in our invoice amount. Now at the moment we've got the table that we're after, but they're actually showing the same results, which is a problem. So let's just format these to make it clearer. Okay, so we're going to give them different titles. And what's happening is we still just haven't filtered these yet. So see we have these two filters. What I'm going to do is go into advanced settings and now you'll see those names that I entered before when we we're creating our subqueries. So if I go to current year, I'm going to set it to year between and I'm going to use a predefined period. I'm going to say this calendar year. And then with previous year, I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to say last, pre uh, last calendar year. All right, so what this means is any time this report is run, even if it's in two years time, it's going to work out the current year when the report is run. All right, so what you're actually seeing now is we have our current year sales. So we only have sales in three regions at this point in time. And last year we had sales in all regions except Sub-Saharan Africa. <laughs> So what we're going to do is actually apply a filter to this main portion of the report so that we only see this year or last year. So I'm going to return to my main query because we want to get rid of this empty row. So I'm just going to filter on year and I'm actually going to filter on year twice. And going to advanced settings and I'm going to do the same thing as I did before I'm going to say this calendar year and I'm going to say last calendar year and what I'm going to do is change this logic here to be or so what it's going to do is show me regions that I have sales in this year or last year so either one as long as I have sales in one year and that's removed our empty row, but it's actually kept these because we had sales previously. Okay, so that's what we call a subquery report. And that's the append. And you'll find that this is probably the most commonly used type of subquery report. So I would practice this a couple of times and get your head around how it works because it's incredibly useful. So another thing we might want to do from here is create a variance. So work out what the difference is. So we could do a calculated field and we just need to make sure we're in the master query. So what we do is we do previous year sales minus current year sales. We save that. And we just add that to our report. And what I'm going to do is sum that up. Okay. Now we do have some gaps here. So what we could do is create a case statement to handle that. Um, but we won't worry about that too much for now because that's off topic. Okay. So that's an append subquery. What we're going to do now is have a look 
at a union subquery. So I'm just going to delete this report and we'll create a new one.